shifting to from being a regular building developer to a green building developer, the most important thing one has to do is actually change your mind. It actually costs almost nothing more. We actually build our green buildings for no more than 1% more than a regular building. So it's about thinking differently. Green housing is housing that has been designed and is being operated in a way so as to reduce its environmental impact on both the residents who live in the buildings and in the larger environment. It means efficient use of resources, energy efficient in terms of its operation. It means efficient use of land, that it's part of a neighborhood that's walkable, and that means that it's not just the structure that's efficient, but the whole lifestyle it supports transit and walking and healthy living in an urban context. We believe that green buildings are fundamentally better buildings and they use resources more efficiently. So I really believe that it's in our national interest to build all affordable housing as green affordable housing. Well, I like to say the greenest thing about our building is the subway. We're across the street from the subway station. That's the greenest thing you could possibly do. A lot of things you're doing anyway. You need a roof. This building happens to have a green roof, but we also have solar reflective white roofs. Why not have a tightly insulated building? It's, it's better for everybody. We create spaces that, that don't use uh, VOCs, that don't use heavy toxic materials in the flooring, in the walls, and so forth. having access to recreation to be able to grow some food nearby and understand what healthy food choices are available, whether that's through urban agriculture or access to farmers markets or community supported agriculture projects. I like this garden very much because it's helped me a lot for my health. We are a community. We help each other to make this garden look beautiful. There are so many things you can do that are cheap or free or you would have need to do anyway. You need a smart design team, but you need one anyway. The world of affordable housing is going green and by 2020, 100% of all affordable housing will be green. And one of the most important reasons why is because state after state are greening their allocation processes. Uh, more and more funders are demanding it and in effect, form follows finance. So the financing requires green, then all development's gonna be green. So the quicker you can learn and get on that train, the better.